Welcome. Hello and welcome. The Big Bang happened, aka Windows broke, and then had to reset the entire computer and lost all my databases, including Impact Wrestling 1987. I could possibly get it back, but I don't see the point. And also, I don't know where the cable is or my hard drives are. To do that, from, you know, going right the way back, I think they're all in a drawer on the floor. They could be anywhere, to be honest. Also. I ain't going to look for them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, um, and we're going to start new series. And we're going to continue, and we're going to keep... We're going to reel Don't Think Back Off from the beginning down to the ground. So this one is Impact Wrestling. We're going to be starting after Bound for Glory. So Ace Austin is your Impact Tag Treasure Champion. Uh, Ace Romero. There's a lot of surprise on tonight's show. A lot of new signings um, that I've brought in to help the company grow. What I'm going to be announcing now is this is the only save rate both, which is not starting in October. This is starting in November on week two. Um, to kind of tie you over until we start, as I've sh explained in the Big Bang video, if you haven't watched it, each week we're going to add a new series to the channel. So this week you've got three weekly episodes. You've got NWA Power coming out later today or before this. You might have already watched it. Depending on what order I put them out. Uh, Impact Wrestling Weekly, NWA Weekly, and AEW Weekly. On Saturday, you'll also have, you'll find out what the pay, the Impact Plus special is on this. And then next week, we'll introduce Impact Wrestling 1987, local to global, and we'll do it how we were doing it before. But yeah. Um, I don't want to bring back, I don't, I might, I'm not going to try and get the databases from the old save. I'm not going to try and bring back anything we've done previous. I want to start fresh. Everything's starting new. So WCW Lives is a new series. There'll be a new series of that. There'll be a new series in 1930s. There'll be a new series of Impact Wrestling in 1987. Be a new Ring of Honor 1970s as well. And we'll work our way back to the top with each series. And we'll do things differently. Because Impact Wrestling 1987 is getting a bit of a bore for me. It wasn't a bore. I was loving everything we were doing. It was just the fact we were... You know, now a crutch of where, you know, we had certain champions winning and, you know, we had Hogan coming in and stuff, and that was fine. But we're going to get on with this series. So this is Impact Wrestling Week, and we've got 2,978 uh, people at the Staten Island Pavilion tonight. I'm not sure where this show is going to... Well, I think the show will be okay, but I think I've put the one people in um, the main event. But in a terrible pre-show match, the Thunder Express defeat OVE in 06 from Fellow Bar defeat J Dave Chris by Pinnacle of Avalanche. Splash, if you didn't know, Ace Romero has got a permanent contract with Impact Wrestling. Um, alongside, because we know that Joe Ryan did. Um, but yeah, Impact, he is now with Impact Wrestling. Here comes the cat. Always typical, she turns up when I'm recording. Yeah, it doesn't... It, uh. Let's go to Cage Match, because Cage Match will show you. Ace Mode 29 promotion, Impact Wrestling, you see. Uh, matches, I don't know if he's actually had. Here you go, look, Impact Ace Division for the title match, and then he did that. So I don't know if Ace Romero is going to be on TV and stuff, but we know that he's signed to a permanent contract with Impact Wrestling. And this is the thing is, there's a lot of wrestlers that are not on the Impact roster now that I've hired... You know, you're going to expect to see you expect to see everybody you know and love from Impact Wrestling. You know, we're going to open that up in the background. We'll have a look in a second. See who's on the actual real life roster. And you can have a look at both. You're going to sit in the drawer, are you? Okay, Princess. So Ace Romero, 22. Follow Bar, 24. Jake Chris, 30. Dave Chris, 32. Jake Chris and Rumble Impact performance. Plus. Dave Chris Experience Impact Bar, Wrestling Rumble. like never before. Uh, Brian, after reliving that championship victory, what emotions are you feeling right now? Man, this is it. This is how I envisioned it when I won the title. You know, and ever since I won the title, through through what happened with Sammy and, and Melissa and the wedding and everything, this is the feel good moment that we needed to have. So to put that away, to vanquish Sammy, to be able to celebrate in the middle of the ring with my wife, like this is what we needed, and I'm just excited to move on to the next chapter. You know, Brian, I think now Sammy Callahan in the rearview mirror, you're healthy. You're the impact. World this will be one of the weirdest videos I've ever recorded. The obvious question. I vanished to put a cat What's on the wardrobe. I'm not going to vanish to put a cat on the wardrobe. So, um, this studio is that's nice. happening tonight. Oh, you're shooting an interview? I've got to get out of here. I know who wins it, but I can't wait. But yeah, you see, you've got Ace Austin, Ryan Cage, Ty Valkyrie in the north. So the champions are the same on the roster. So there he is, Ace Romero, and on the actual roster page. 
Um, is he on here now? Well, that's all I'm gonna. So I expect to see majority of these wrestlers that you see here with some difference. I ain't got lust of the legend. Actually, I've got Ken Shamrock. He ain't on here. Where's Jerry Ryan? He'll be on here, isn't he? Unless he's not been put on the roster page yet. Yeah, obviously, he hasn't been added yet, but Jerry Ryan's also of Impact Wrestling. Is he on that? Yeah, very interesting. He probably, if we go through all these, the um, Aluminium. I don't know if the story worked for him, but I bet you a tenor he's still on here. Chris Adondas, Dad Pope, Dominator, Christine Emmy, Bill Gullet. There's a, you know, when you actually go through all of this, this is quite a lot of great um, aluminium guys. Gunner, Esther Abram, Jay Lethal, Jeff Hardy. So I bet you would tell him he's still on here. He's not on here anymore. Yeah, he's still down here. Look. But Jerry Ryan is back in impact. Oh, I'd like to say that. Anyway, shall we get on with this? <laughs> Instead of looking at this, because there's going to be a few debuts. There's going to be a guy that you guys have never heard. Well, in fact, you know who you will know who he is if you knew if you if you weren't masked. In a double pre show match, another one, Madman Fulton defeat Dagger. Uh, Fulton 19, Dagger 28. Fighting in Tech Norm Performance, 26-8. Let's move on. Yes, that is our Logero. These two, Swamp Monster and Day and uh, Swamp Monster and Afire uh, Jr. Uh, Afire Jr. are here on the one-night deal. But in a poor pre match, Woody Mack, TJP, Ken Sherrill, and our Logero defeat Afire, David Boy Smith Jr., who's no longer with Impact um, New Japan, uh, which I didn't know about until just now, and I'm really upset about it. And Matt Taven and the Swap Monster in the 647 TJP defeat Afire over the running single leg knee strike. You'll find out why T Matt Taven is here. Um, there's a lot of um, guys here tonight that are from Ring of Honor and that, and New Japan, formerly New Japan. Kevin Oshomoku is not suited to his gimmick. The first time tonight we've had that. We know we're going to get this, guys. You know what the routine is. We start a new series, we play the episode, and we get loads of these. Allegheny is Mass Luchador, great. Do Boy Smithy and Maniac. Average, Matt Taven, cocky, gimmick, below average. Matt Taven's really off his game. The Swamp Monster is really off his game. Full of commentary, match boost. Allegheny, 21. That's bullshit. Ken Shamrock, 43. TJP, 50. William Matt, 31. Swamp Monster, 15. That's about right for him. Matt Taven, 34. David Boy Smith, 40. And FIA, 28. David Boy in technical performance. FIA improving performance. And Swamp Monster in performance. Hmm. You guys might get hired. I'm <laughs> definitely not hiring Swamp Monster. Uh, yeah, he's a bit of a joke. He's, he was good. He's very, to be honest, Swamp Monster, even though he wears, that is what he looks like, he's very good in ring. If you haven't seen him, in, go and have a look at one of his matches in Chicago. In a total provision match, Tessa Blanchard, Jordan Grace, and Alicia Edwards defeat Havoc, Katie Forbes, and Kira Hogan. They need A23 and Tessa Blanchard defeat Kira Hogan by from the pile driver. Alicia Edwards, 24, Jordan Grace, 18, Tessa Blanchard, 29, Kira Hogan, 18, Katie Forbes, 15, and Havoc, 27. Alicia Edwards in Rumble, Technol, Flying and Performance. Blanchard in Performance and Jordan Gates in Performance. Well done, Alicia. Uh, 24E. Let's move on. Do you want to continue with a nope? Anyone who needs a gimmick change? There we go. That's that. Oh, Grandma Singh also needs a gimmick change. And so does James Mitchell. <laughs> Why is James Mitchell involved? I haven't got a clue. Anyway. In a terrible pre-show match, Madison Rain and Sue Young defeat Taylor Hent. Uh, Taylor Hendricks and Summer Rain, 826 from Sion to feed Taylor Hendricks, wife from the Yellow Fever. These two here on one night deal. Rain 21, Hendricks 14, Sue Young 29, Madison Rain 32. Rain in performance and Sue Young in technical, 27E. And there he is. There is a guy that you will not know. That is Monster Ripper. I'm not going to tell you who's in, who's wearing a mask and stuff, but I'll tell you one thing. You know... <laughs> Is he's going to be a part of Impact for a while. A bound for glory. Me and Sammy went to war and nearly killed each other. I came out on top. I stand here still, your Impact champion. This is our first show on Access TV, and this Saturday night on Impact Plus, it's turning point. Tonight we have shocks and twists with Impact, now working with Ring of Honor, CMML, and New Japan. I haven't sorted CMML yet, but I need to. This is a new era for Impact, and I want someone to come out here and challenge for the challenge me for the next pay-per-view final resolutions in December. Because this Saturday Night Live is going to be me and Zack Sabre Jr. versus Pac. Then whoever answers me. But the lights turn turn red and this high-pitched music plays in here. And we hear James Mitchell laughing as he comes out with this terrifying man. And there he is. That is a monster. That, the character 
I don't know I don't, if this is under Monster Clan, so I don't know if that's obviously a different masked wrestler, but we're using it just as point of reference. That's what he looks like. Ask, and you shall receive, and sometimes you may regret. I was looking around after Ali's death, and I found this man hiding. There is his name, Monster Ripper. This Saturday night, he will join Pac, but the final resolution of that title will be coming to him. Let's prove my point. Let's begin. Let's bring Stone Rock out here and you join commentary. Brian Cage gets out of the ring and he goes to sit at commentary as Stone Rockwell comes out. And in an extremely short pre show match, uh, in an extreme short match, Monster Ripper defeats Stone Rockwell in 1 minute 48 by opening with a choke slam. Stone Rockwell 23 and Monster Ripper 43. Uh, Monster Ripper in technical performance. Stone Rockwell in performance. Rockwell is not suited to his gimmick, so I need to deal with that. He doesn't appear very often, but I know he's he's a part. He's on quite a lot of the Twitch and um, Twitch specials and stuff like that in Canada. But 40D minus, that's very nice. Stone Rock Pro. In a terrible match, the North defeated the Dealers in 7:35, and Ethan Page defeated Cody Dina Dina by pinning the Springboard Facebuster. The North made defense number one of their Impact World Tag Team Ties. Cousin Drake 24, Cody Dina 24, Josh Alexander 28, Ethan Page 28. That's a not true at all. 28E. That is an awful match, and I don't agree with it. But anyway, Turning Point, which is an Impact, uh, Impact Plus special. There's only four pay-per-views in the year. We better make that match official. So yeah, um, you might get a look at some of the names that are now with Impact, like Jay Lethal's here, Monster Ripper's here. But yeah, I've kind of been, Stu Bennett will get into all that later. Ahem, uh Ray Phoenix. Give that one away. Uh, Monster Ripper and Pack taking on the team of... Cage and uh, Zack Sabre. As you can see, I've been on a bit of a high hiring spree. There's a lot of wrestlers that you didn't get to see. Uh, it's Cousin Jake, 24, da, 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 no work for 28 e Don't agree with that. So after the match, the North are celebrating the victory in the ring with the Lucha Brothers running attack, beating them down into the map. Pentagon Junior Classic Techno, Gimmick Poor, poor both got poor for that. I don't know why. They are baby faces. And because we're working with CMML, we've brought them back. 30 plus. In above, they didn't have much cheap and terrible wrestling. Ty Valkyrie defeated Rosemary in 8.28 by pinning the swinging side, side slam. Ty Valkyrie makes an defense number one of her Impact Knockouts title. Rosemary 34, Ty Valkyrie 24, Ty Valkyrie in Techno. I don't know if the really bad... the This is because they're not re they're rated on their popularity more than they are their... what Because I haven't sorted out any of the... Um, what's it called? You know, the... Well, look. I will do that for Saturday night to suit me. So that's kind of what might be going on here. But Tin and Dashwood comes out and goes, You might have won it Bound for Glory, but it's going to be me kicking your ass in eight weeks at Final Revolution. She's tire. You might think you're the best knockout. You're not. It's me. Now, the rumours was I'm going to leave. Nope. I'm staying right here on Impact, and I'm going to make your life a living hell. 42 d from Tillon. And then we have the Bastard Pack. Of course he does well. The Bastard Pack has arrived in Impact Wrestling. Now this Saturday night I will tag with the Monster Ripper to face Brian Cage and Zack Sabre Jr. Zack Sabre Jr., that's why I came to Impact to sit. It's to send you to hell. You see, you think you're one of the best wrestlers out of England? Nope, I am. Does that remember my name? Because this Saturday it will be on your lips. The Bastard Pack. 61C, beautiful. In a terrible match, the Desi Hit Squad defeated the Rascals. In four, four, in 4 minutes 39, when Marley Shearer defeated Trey by from the Vera Bomb. Trey, Dez, and Rents. I knew they were going to come up because they did last time we did this. Trey, Dez, Rents. All come up saying they're not suited to their gimmick. Uh, so, oh, Marley Shearer is not suited either. Shearer. I'll just do that and I'll we'll work out who it is. Rents 28, Dez 33, Trey 25, Right Raju 22, Raj. Singh to 18 and Mobley Shearer to 18. Rick Raju in technical performance and Raj in technical performance. 28E. The show will be better this Sunday night when I get the thing to it. And about a decent, didn't have much heat in Telber Wrestling. Tin and Dash will defeat Sreya Knight in 9.23 by Pim of the Roaring Elbow. Sreya Knight 27, Tin and Dashwood 33. Stevie Dodd to go heel gimmick. Tin and Dashwood in performance. So, of course, if you don't know who Sreya Knight is, she is the mum of Paige. And Rory and Zach and Ricky Knight Jr. and all the others. Anyone with a night name, she's probably grandmother too. And 
Mum too, blah, blah, blah. PJ Black. So I'm going to tell some PJ Black backstage. Tonight has had some shocks and surprises and so much more to come with me now. Introducing PJ Black. PJ goes, thanks, Santos. Look, I came here to send a message to Ace Austin. You have been causing issues to my good friend. Now, if you want to lie and try and mess up with marriage, then I'm going to come after you. So Ace, be ready, because that exhibition title is coming to me. Eddie and Lisha have sorted the issues, and I have fixed the crap you have caused. 360 minus on PJ. Beautiful. In a decent match, Rich Swan, Colt Cabana, Rob Van Dam, and Rhino defeat Pack, Killer Cross, Mark Land, and Samuel Callahan in 8 11. And Rhino defeat Killer. No. No, 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 no. Well, that isn't what was meant to happen, but um, I can't change the result. Rhino 46, Boron 58, Colt Cabana 46, Rich Swan 43, Callahan 46, and Algon 44. Killer Cross 36 and Pack 70. Michael Algon and Technical Performance, Callahan and Performance and Technical and Killer Cross and Technical. Um, because what was meant to happen was Rhino was meant to eat the pinfall from one of the others. Uh, hold on, let's do the whole thing. Because he's meant, he, his terms are complete. Um, and then he starts coming up. So yeah, basically, Rowan Dunn, um, because we have the, because I forgot to set the heel turn up. He's now turned on Rhino in this match. That's kind of what's happened. And then Rhino was meant to eat a pinfall from Pack or someone. That's what was meant to happen. Then we have Trent Seven and Tyler Bate backstage. And like, so all of you sat there with a shot look on your face that Mustache Mountain have arrived. But hold on, ain't they on that thing on that network? Not anymore. And Tyler goes, look here, Impact Wrestling. We are here to destroy all your favorites. The Deaners, the Rascals, anyone who Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling, they're going down. British Dong Star has arrived in Impact. 3AD minus on the boys. And then decent match, Jay Lethal to feed Don Castle in 755 by Pinfall legally using the ropes for leverage. Jay Lethal 60, Don Castle 33. He's the old school heel, below average from Bayface, above average. No equivalents. Welcome back to Impact Wrestling, Jay Lethal. Welcome to Impact Wrestling, Don Castle. As I said, we're working with Ring of Honor, New Japan, and CMLL. So you're going to see a lot more of the guys who currently work for um, Ring of Honor and CMML and that come in and perform. This is being taped on a Monday to be shown on the Tuesday, so it is a pre-taped show. But the reason for that is so I can have all of the wrestlers that I want to have on my show, because otherwise certain wrestlers would not be available. And, and a good match, Stu Bennett defeated Eddie Edwards by pin for the Wastelands. Stu Ben Aragon heel below average. Eddie Edwards is not suited to his gimmicks. Stu and Eddie have pretty good chemistry and lifted the match. Um, Stu. No, not Stu. He's not suited. It's Eddie. He's not suited, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, Stu 61. Eddie 60. Stu Bennett with flying 61C. And then he gets a mic. And he goes, shut up, all of you. I have come to Impact Wrestling to show you how show you all how shit half of the roster is. Nobody in this goddamn can hold up a light to my name. I'm the best thing to happen to Impact Wrestling since Kurt Angle. Yikes. And then in a decent match, Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Will Ospreay in 7, 30, 30, 7 minutes 53 by a pin for the combination. Lily, 54 C minus. Will Ospreay, Phil Seeker average. Zack Sabre Jr., Jr. fan favorite. Above average. Will Ospreay, 53. Zack Sabre, 52. No way for 54 C minus. And in our main event of the night, which was meant to have an hype package, and I forgot to do it. In a decent match, Brian Cage defeated Moose in 2001 by appearing on the flying elbow drop. He makes defense number one of his Impact World title. Uh, Moose is sustained an ankle sprain. He's not suited to his gimmick. He is slowed by his injury. The belt drove in the middle. Moose 40, Brian Cage 49. Moose in performance. We need to sort Cage's gimmick out. Um, next week's show will hopefully be better. We have got a post show match tonight. So after the match, Brian Cage celebrates his victory in the ring when the monster Ripper comes out and he attacks him. And then after, in a decent post-show match, the Lucha Brothers defeat Mustache Man in 938 when Pentagon Jr. defeats Trent Seven by pulling the top rope Stars Clash. Uh, Tyler Bate 39, Trent Seven 27, Pentagon Jr. 51, and Ray Phoenix 62. Ray Phoenix in per, Rumble in performance, Pentagon Jr. in technical performance, and Trent Seven in performance. Ray 16 minus. Then in an extreme short pre-show match, Feed your back, Matt Sidow and Filthy Tom Lloyd defeat Ace Austin, Joe Ryan and Johnny Stringer in 4 minutes 31 when Matt Sidow defeat Johnny Stringer by putting the corkscrew moonsault. Uh, Filthy Tom Lloyd in 36, Sidow 47, Black 36, Johnny Stringer 27, 
Joey Ryan 36 and Ace Austin 35. So now in te Rumble Technical Performance, Black in Technical Performance. So that is the end of tonight's show. Uh, do you want to continue? No, but let's just get that done. We'll end the show there. Uh, 44D, increased our popularity in 14 regions, but lost of popularity in 3. We'll see you on Saturday when I'll change the product and everything else and see if that helps the company. Sorry for the rambles. Sorry for the random getting up to put a cat on the wardrobe. This is the first episode. This is a new era in Impact. A new era on the channel. The Big Bang has happened. And join us to follow along. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in a little bit for either AEW or NWA Power, whichever is coming out next. Because I don't know if you've already seen NWA Power, I haven't even got it set up. So I'll see you for that in just a little bit.